Hey guys, welcome in. My name is Mike. Today we're looking at a laptop charger with the end completely severed off. I've already gone and prepped the wires and we're gonna reattach it and secure it so it can be used again. If you're new to the channel, welcome in. Hopefully you find this helpful and hopefully I earn your subscription. All right, there's multiple ways to fix a broken connector like this, but at the bare minimum, you're gonna need a soldering iron, some solder, heat shrink or electrical tape to make the connections. At the beginning, what we want to do is make sure we tin the wires. It makes it a little bit easier. And then we're going to put heat shrink over. So follow along with me. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments and I'll be happy to help you. And again, if you're new to the channel, I do various types of content. It varies from working on old electronics to testing of gear and uh, a lot more in the future. I'm just uh, showcasing as much as I can. So we got some tin on these wires, that's great. This is just a little loose, let's tighten that up. All right. Good, so these wires are a little long here. All we're gonna do is just cut this back a bit. Very good. Okay, I'm actually gonna add a little bit more on there. A little bit light. And it's best if you have a way to extract this solder smoke. Right now I don't have my solder extractor on. Probably should, but that's okay. It's just a little bit of smoke. Not gonna hurt you. Okay, so these wires are now tinned. So we're gonna take a little bit of heat shrink here. And I wanna do this afterwards because the heat shrink can actually shrink as you're putting the tin on there. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a good coverage here because there's not a lot of wire. So what I want to do, I think, is cut this down just a little bit. And then we're going to try to attach it as quickly as possible because the more heat we put into the wire, the higher chance that here there is for the, the shrink to actually shrink on you. So line that up there. It does help to have these helping hands. If you don't have them, Ask a friend, ask your mom. They'll be able to help. Yeah, it's as far back as I can go with this wire, unfortunately. I could strip it back a bit more, which would prevent this wire from shrinking, which I may do. Let's just see what we got to work with here. We don't have a lot to work with, but I really want to preserve it as much as the original shell as possible. So let's, uh, just see what the length is here, and I can cut it back a little bit more. I will be wrapping electrical tape around this anyways, but this is just to keep it somewhat protected. Okay, we're gonna attempt this. Let's see if we get a good solder joint here. I may actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the bigger one, so it has some room to shrink. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to shrink a little bit while I'm doing this. So this is a, a thicker heat shrink. So we'll cut it back to make the size good. I think I can work with that. Make sure these are secure. We'll line these up. Best as we can. Okay, that's good. I'm going to get enough solder on the tip here. And then we're just going to quickly hit this. Hold it steady. Try to hit the back side. Good. That should be a good connection. We'll just verify. Check the back. looks to be on there. We could probably hit it just a little bit more. Oh, that actually looks okay. So let's put the shrink over there. We'll do it the low-tech way. 
get a lighter, drink this. I could use my hot air station, but that works just fine. So I'll do the same thing for the other side. burnt there that's okay we're gonna hide it with a uh, little bit of electrical tape anyway so we'll grab some tape wrap it around here again doesn't need to be perfect just needs to do the job Make sure those two wires that you solder and put together, they're not connecting because that would cause a short, which would kill your power supply. And I think I can slide this over just for some strain relief. Okay, not perfect. I'll probably wrap some more tape around that just to secure it and then we'll give her a test. Okay, we got it all taped up. We're gonna give it a, a test to see if we have some voltage coming out of this connector. So we wanna put the negative on the outside here, positive on the inside. Okay, there we go. 19.59 volts, it's fixed. All right, if you guys found this helpful, leave me a comment, and I hope I earned your subscription today. Have a good one, we'll see you on the next one.